Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'm going to tell you how to use icons in graphs in Excel 2019 and then you can make your graphs look amazing like this. This is a pie chart that I've created. All right. A standard pie chart looks something like this. Let me show you. We will select this data and we will make a pie chart. We'll select the data, go to insert, go to pie chart. And this is a standard pie chart, correct? You can have it like this also. Now compare this to this, which is better? You tell me this one or this one. Isn't it more meaningful? You can have these boxes over here in case if you want that cool, right? So today I'm going to teach you how you can yourself go ahead and use icons in your graph to make them look amazing. So we'll use this example. I'll delete this chart. So we have this expense of a family, say on food, medical, transport, school, fun and EMIs. All right. So this is the amount and this is the percentage. All right. Super simple. Now I'm going to insert a pie chart. I'm going to select this. I'm going to insert going to pie chart. This can be any kind of chart. Okay. So you can choose, say, for example, we can use a pie chart, a donut chart. So we'll use a pie chart. Now, the next thing that we need to do is that we need to go to insert. We need to go to illustrations and over here, go to icons. And in icons, you'll have to find icons that suit your need. Like for food, we will go over here. If you see, there is a complete category. Accessibility, analytics, animal, apparel, arrows, arts, body parts, so on and so forth. So for food, I can choose any of these icons. So which one should I select? Let's select this one. Okay. I can select one at a time or multiple at a time. Totally up to me. So if I click on insert. So this icon is here. Now I can resize it like this. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to resize them later together. Now I'm going to insert another one illustrations icons for medical all right so i need to find something for medicine medical all right so i can choose this one now i need to find something for transport so for transport vehicles okay i'll use this one and then for school so school should come in education It should be somewhere here. Okay, education. You can use this. And then uh, fun. Okay, fun. Uh, holidays. All right. So let's use, say, this one. And then EMIs. So that should be banks and economy, commerce. All right. So I'll use this one. Click OK. And there they are. I can now separate them one by one like this, bring them over here. Then we place them and now we will resize them like this. All right. So this one was left out. So I'll do it also. All right. Now we will place them accordingly and give them color. So I'm going to remove this chart title. I'm going to remove this also. All right and food is and now we need to find which one is which so i'll click over here and go to format sorry and go to design and in the quick layouts i'll simply use this one layout five it shows a chart label all right so now i know which one is which so i'll put food over here and emi over here and the transport would come over here. The fun would come over here. School would come over here and medical is almost there. All right. So remove the chart title now. And we can now expand it. Totally up to you. And we can either put them inside like this. Like this, that's one version. 
I can copy this and create another one or I can put them outside like this and over here I can show the percentages. I can increase their font. See, I can make them bold. Now I can change their colors also. So for example, this is green. So I can make this green like this. This is blue. I can make it blue like this. This one is yellow. This one is gray. This one is kind of this one. I don't know the name of the color. <laughs> and this one is again darkish blue. See, you can have them again in and you can even work with them further. You go to format and you can choose the shape fill, the shape outline, totally up to you. You can change the colors from here also if you want. Totally up to you. And you can have amazing designs. So like I had this one, you can have this version, whatever version you prefer. Super easy, right? So this is how we go ahead and use icons in graphs in Excel 2019. Well, if you like this video, do click on the thumbs up symbol and do share it with your friends. And in case you have not subscribed to the channel, then please do. If you have already done it, then amazing. Thank you so much. Until the next video now, this is your Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.